to show you how to do Hilary Duff's hair and makeup, so watch and see. To begin our makeup, we're going to start with a clean face that's moisturized. And then I'm going to use my Revlon Color Stay Foundation, and I'm going to put a little bit out on my palette. And I'm going to use my little beauty pod and apply this all over my face really evenly. I'm not going to do it too heavy because we want it to be a really natural looking finish. So just enough to cover your face and then blend down into your neck and make sure everything is really well blended. Then I'm going to go in with my new Instant Age Rewind Eraser, the Maybelline one, and place it right under my eyes for my dark circles across the bridge of my nose, up to my forehead, and then on my chin. And then I'm going to blend this in with my Beauty Blender for a really nice um, definition and a little bit of that highlighted look. And the Beauty Blender does an amazing job to blend those lines so you don't have to worry about a difference in your foundation against your concealer. Using my Pro All Over Powder 61 Sephora brush and some powder, I'm going to set my face makeup all over to ensure that it's going to stay in place and I don't have to worry about getting shiny. In the picture, Hillary has a really pretty bronzed type of a face look. So I'm going to use my NYX Terracotta Blush and this is a gorgeous kind of warm bronzy brush and my Pro Blush Brush 73 Sephora one and apply this all over to the apples of my cheeks. I promise my foundation matches, it's just the lighting. Using my Contour 74 Sephora brush, I am going to go in with my Hoola Bronzer by Benefit and I am going to tap excess off and then apply this into my kissy face and do that underneath my cheekbones right above my jawline. And I'm also going to do it to my temples and then a little bit on my forehead just because it's going to give you that really nice simmer bronzed look. Using a small MAC 222 brush, I'm going to apply this to the edges of my nose to create a really nice, more contoured and slimmed out nose because Hillary has more of a longer slimmed out nose. So I'm just going to apply my Hoola bronzer with this and then up to the corners of my eyebrows and then on the bottom of my nose. And then I'm just going to use an all over brush and go and buff that in so that there's no dark line or harshness to it and blend it all out. The MAC 205 brush and my Compact Shine On Makeup Forever Highlighter, I'm going to apply this right above my cheekbones and to my eyebrow to give some really nice highlight and definition. And then I'm also going to take this highlight down the bridge of my nose and onto my chin. Starting on my eyes, I'm going to use my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion and apply this all over my lids up to my brow bone. And then I'm also going to go underneath my eyes and apply that there using my ring finger and just blend that all in. Taking my blending brush number 27 by Sephora and I'm also going to grab the color Ease in my Naked 2 palette and I'm going to apply this all over my crease line from the inside corner out to the outside corner of my eye, creating more of a half dome effect. So you can also concentrate a little bit on the outer corner of your eye for a look like this. And then I'm going to grab my number 17 brush by Sephora and the number Naked 1 palette in the color Buck and apply this in my crease to add some warmth and a little bit more definition. We're going to go with naturals because that's what the picture has. I'm going to add Buck and get a little bit more concentration right in my crease area and warm it up a little bit. So I'm going to add a little bit more to my brush, kind of pack it on there and then apply that a few times a little bit more vigorously to my crease area. Medium size all over eye brush, I'm going to combine the colors Naked and Buck and apply that all over my eyelid. Using my number 24 Smoky Eyeliner Sephora brush, I'm going to grab the color Buck and apply this underneath my lower lash line across from the outer corner to the tear duct and blend it in really nicely to give us some soft warmth to the underneath of our eyes. I'm going to go back in with my number 17 blending brush and just blend that out and diffuse it a little bit because Hillary's comes more out a little bit lower than your normal smoky line, so I'm just going to blend it out with my 17 blending brush. Following up with that same brush using the color Booty Call and Naked Blended, I'm going to go over 
my line on the top where I have diffused some of that color out and just soften that line and make sure that it's really blended really, really well. I wanted to add a little bit more depth to the corners of my eyes, so I used my 17 brush and the smog and I concentrated this just on the very outer V of my eyes and blended that in. And then blend out that line again with a clean 17 brush. Using an all over eye brush, I'm going to grab Foxy out of the Naked 1 or Naked 2 palette and apply this all over my brow bone. And I'm going to pick up just a tiny bit of the Booty Call color and apply this right underneath my brow bones for a really pretty highlight. Using the Maybelline Eye Studio Gel in Blackest Black and my MAC number 208 brush, I'm going to apply this to my waterline in the, my bottom lash line and then I'm also going to tight line my top at lash line. On a thousand other days. Switching up my brush to the Ingold Liner number 22 Sephora Gel Liner Brush, I am going to do a slight wing on the outer corner and then follow my line all the way into my inner tear duct. Then going back to my number 208 brush, I'm going to pick up the color Blackout out of the Naked 2 palette and just kind of smudge that over my black liner. This is going to soften it up a little bit and add a little bit more contrast to it. And then I'm also going to pop that right in my lash line and smudge it out and make sure that it has a little bit of depth down there. Cause we're always gone and nothing else remains. You just hope for rain. Grab your lash curler and curl your lashes and then I'm using my Voluminous Mascara in black and I'm going to apply this really gently to my top lash line. I'm going to grab my Ardell 120 Demi Black Lashes, apply some black lash glue and then I'm going to let them dry for about 30 seconds to make it more tacky so it will stick better. Dry, dry, dry! <laughs> and then I'm going to apply this going from the middle, making sure that it is even on both sides, pressing down my outer corner and then going in and pressing my inner corner and then holding that on there for about 30 seconds until they're dry. Going back in with my mascara and blending my real lashes to my new false lashes. And apply about two coats to your bottom lashes and make sure that it's a little bit thicker than normal. Using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Palette in the darker Strawberry Blonde and my MAC 263 brush, I'm going to shade in my brows and kind of create more of a darker line on the very tail of my brows because they're not very thick. So I'm just gonna go and shade it in and then I'm going to go back with my spoolie brush from MAC, the 204, and just diffuse it a little bit and brush it out to make it a more of a softer brow. Then I'm just going to go with my concealer brush and pick up any fallout and sweep that away so I don't have to worry about any black lines underneath my eyes. And then I'm going to grab my Chroma pencil, the Kardashian color, in Modest Mauve and apply this all over my lips, making sure that I'm also going to kind of line my lips with it. And I'm going to apply my NYX Butter Gloss, the Creme Brulee, over the top of it to give it more of a shine. And that finishes up our makeup part, so we're going to go on to the hair part. So I have already blown out my hair, and you can check out my tutorial linked in this video, and you can see how I've already done that. So then we're going to go and create a parting from eyebrow to eyebrow, and it's just going to be this little front piece. And I'm going to take a section out from the back and do a horizontal section. Spray the roots with a fast form holding spray by Paul Mitchell, the extra body firm finishing spray, directly at my roots. And then I'm going to grab just a teasing brush and kind of messily go back and forth and tease this. As you can see, I'm putting it in more of that a vertical so that it's not just a straight, perfectly teased piece. So I'm going to go in and do about two layers and then hairspray it and then hairspray it again once I'm done. And then in the front, I'm going to take out pieces. Instead of doing it all together, I'm going to pull out pieces and hairspray it, run my fingers along it so that it makes it more of a PC look instead of a perfect little princess poof. Then from behind my ear, I'm going to grab a section directly behind my ear, 
pull this up and over and I'm gonna add a little bit of teasing into it so that it makes it a little bit more messy and not so perfect and I'm going to start to form the top part of my hair so pulling it back to where you kind of want it to be and it tees it up a little bit to give it added texture and it pull it back and over and then we will pin this in on the other side of our hair So I've gathered that section, pulled it across to the other side of my head, and I'm going to bobby pin that going down away from my face. Then I'm going to do the same thing to the other side of my hair. And I'm going to make sure that I add a little bit of teasing in there for texture, and then working with that top part, making sure that it's how I want it before I pin it up. Grabbing those few strands that were left out, I'm just basically going to brush them over the top. If you have longer hair in the front, you're going to have to do this before you pin up your sides. But since I have fringe, I'm just going to add my pieces up and over and then hairspray that how I want it to look. And you have completed your Hillary Duff look. I hope you guys enjoy this and have fun with it.